Hello, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see this increment and decrement operators in detail. So these operators are also called as you know the shorthand operators. When we use this, you know, these operators as a suffix, its meaning is different, and when we use these operators as prefix, the meaning is different. So let's see how. So first we're gonna create a variable called x and I'm gonna assign it to a value of 10. Then I want to print this value using the printf and I say x value is percentage d add a new line then reference this x variable save it compile it and run it. So as you can see as expected this x value is 10 now. So now what we want to do is we want to increment this for that purpose we can write x equal to x plus 1 but I know that you know I can use this shorthand operator so I, I write x plus plus so I can do it right here so I'm gonna write x plus plus which means that x equal to x plus 1 so save it compile it and print it so what we expected was this x value to become 11 but it is still 10 okay let's see why let's add another printf statement here then i'm gonna write x value again is percentage d add a new line then we're gonna reference this x value this time we're not gonna increment or decrement it save it compile it and run it okay as expected in the second line this value became 11 but you know we expected that this value became 11 in the first line but that didn't happen that's because when we use this increment or decrement operator as a suffix and the compiler assigns this x value to this statement first and when it when it leaves this statement that time it will increment this so when this printf encounter it prints x value is then the actual value of x it is 10 here it just printed that then when leaving this statement or in you know uh, after the execution of this statement it just made this incrementation so when the uh, control comes out of this printf statement this printf statement this x value becomes 11 that's why we are getting this x value again 11 so same thing to you know for the decrement operator also so we can write x minus minus. so in this case also you know this x value be will be 10 here and it will become 9 in a second printf statement compile it and run it so you know uh, it is just as explained so another thing is if you use this increment or decrement operator as a prefix then the meaning will be different so control f9 and control f10 this one is as expected before you know the, the incrementation is done first then that value is assigned to our printf statement so x value is 11 in the first statement only and in the second statement also this x value is 11 because you know in the second statement we haven't done any incrementation or decrementation you can say that you know you know when this printf statement is executed x value will be first incremented and then it is you know printed here uh, you know for decrementation operator also same thing just uh, you know make it uh, uh, minus minus x uh, compile it and run it you know that value decremented first and then it just uh, printed out so we can use this increment and decrement operator or this shorthand operators in our loops a lot of times. So it makes us to you know read our code better and uh, save some time in uh, you know typing. So this is it. This is about the you know, shorthand operators in C. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.